Hi friends, Suzanne here. Welcome to another card kit of the month video. In order for me to send you this card kit right to your Canadian mailbox, all you have to do is enter this host code when you're shopping with me. It's that easy. There's more information about this card kit and my loyalty rewards at my blog, sunstampin.com. Hi friends, here we are with the card kit for August of 2022. I am featuring the artistically inked stamp set, especially this happy birthday sentiment. And of course, um, whatever sentiment you have at home, you can use. Uh, this card kit is yours. So I inked up with Knight of Navy ink, and I am going to trim that down so that that is a half inch piece of sentiment. However, I'm going to uh, set that aside because uh, Knight of Navy takes a little bit of time to dry sometimes, I noticed. So anyway, this designer series paper is called Rings of Love. Uh, and it is back ordered right now, but it doesn't mean that you can't get it. Um, it's a celebration item. So that uh, DSP size was two and a half by three and three quarters. The Knight of Navy mat was two and five eighths by three and seven eighths. And the uh, crumb cake mat is two and three quarters by four. So I've adhered them all together. And now I'm going to take my, this is a uh, basic white four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And I started at the half inch mark and every eighth of an inch, I'm using my trimmer to score uh, every half inch from that point. So I'm scoring just three little lines, or I think I did four on this one. And then this next example, I will show you where I use my scoreboard, which I actually, to be honest, like better. But anyway, I did four little lines here. And then what you want to make sure is that they are, the bumps are the side that shows. <laughs> so it's not impressions. They are not valleys. They are mountains. And the mountains are uh, showing up on your card so you can feel them. It's just a little detail in case you don't have embellishments. This is a really fun way of zhuzhing up your card. So when you get the white piece of card, it is plain. You're going to have to put in the uh, little lines. So here I'm putting on dimensional adhesive on my focal piece and I'm going to adhere that to the card front. So, um, and what I wanted to do, and I don't think you can see the actual um, lines that I made, but I'm trying to situate this focal point so that it has the correct spacing from top, right side, and left side. I hope you can pick it up when I'm throwing down. There's going to be pictures, so you'll be able to see. So I did give everybody a bigger piece of sentiment card, just in case you don't have the sentiment that I'm using and you have a bigger one. It's a little bit bigger. It's a little bit easier for this um, card kit if I gave you a larger size. All right, so you can see I'm just trimming down my sentiment and oftentimes I will use scissors, but this um, sentiment is kind of, it's very straight. So I can't really, I feel like I had to use my, my um, trimmer. All right, and underneath the HA of the happy, I had to put double adhesive because I'm linking the sentiment with the focal piece and also those lines that we made. So it all links together and it's a cohesive design. So I hope you like it. Uh, thumbs up if you do. And this beautiful Rings of Love designer series paper, can't get enough of it. Right now it's back ordered. It's probably because I had so much. <laughs> it's my fault, I'm sorry. 
Uh, here is the second uh, colorway that I give. I give everybody, like, I try to, not the same card. It's the same design, but it's different colorway, different designer series paper, uh, maybe masculine, feminine, that sort of thing. Um, and this is using another piece of designer series paper that is in that Rings of Love designer series paper pack. And that is Poppy Parade and also Crushed Curry for the card base. So um, I, again, I'm adhering this uh, designer series paper and Poppy Parade to the Crushed Curry. And then here is my scoreboard and I start at half an inch and then I go every eighth of an inch. So whatever that says on my scoreboard, I didn't even think. And um, somebody else can do the math and tell us. And I did four little lines here or no, three little lines, but I went over them and I deeply scored. So I liked the results from my scoreboard better and you know i mean you you do you if you need a scoreboard i can sell you one and they're affordable and let me tell you they're worth more than their weight in gold it's very light so <laughs> um and then okay so i've adhered that to the card base and just it's a very fine thin border around and then I'm taking the focal piece again with dimensional adhesive and I am putting that on my card. I'm trying to look again for the top right and left to be even and then um, I'm going to stamp. Actually, I thought this was Crush Curry, but then when I was putting away my ink, I realized that it was Mango Melody and that's fine. The, the, um, the ink is Mango Melody, but I don't think you really noticed. I didn't notice until I was putting my ink pads away and I'm like, oh, it's not Crush Curry. So anyway, <laughs> I could have told, I could have just said, never mind, and you wouldn't have known the dis difference. <laughs> Um, I am putting dimensional adhesive and I'm doubling up that adhe the um, dimensional under the HA um, because that's how I'm going to um, adhere and it's going to be nice and level basically. Double adhesive on the HA and single adhesive on the rest. And then um, I would say probably about two inches from the bottom and tying all of our elements together. So again, you can see all the supplies I used today listed below in the video see more section or in the supplies section of my blog. And those fast links will take you to my Canadian online store where I would love the chance to meet you and earn your business. Thank you so much for watching. And I wanted to remind you of the initiative, the free stuff initiative that I'm doing get an extra free gift with the host code and also I wanted to say hey I'm doing a collab with Lisa Harden from the Stamping Zoo it's uh, we're going to have a lot of fun with the black envelope challenge so hopefully you can join us on August the 11th um, times are right there on the screen and it's going to be at the Stamping Zoo Facebook page this time and next month it'll be on my channel. So again thanks so much for watching and bye for now.